Through dance, Mara Galliazzi tells the story of brutalities faced by people all over the world. Galliazzi's charity, Dancing for the Children, helps young people to do the same, express their own lives through movement. Sometimes kids have their own mind of their own life and their own sort of um, psychological uh, problems maybe sometimes. And uh, for me, going to a ballet class was like expressing myself and let all these feelings out. Galliazzi's charity teaches dance to children in Africa. She's been fascinated with the continent since childhood. Since then, I always believed that I could have done something for them, whether I would be a dancer or a nurse or something, but uh, Africa has always been my heart. Galliazzi rehearsed these dances for a recent benefit performance in London. She and other royal ballet dancers plan to perform and conduct ballet workshops with young people in South Africa next year. Dancer Gary Avis says dance is free from linguistic barriers. Movement it speaks louder than words, I think, sometimes, and I think that it, we're, we're lucky that we have this chance to be able to express ourselves within movement. Three years ago, Galliazzi and other dancers from the Royal Ballet went to Pretoria and Cape Town to dance with children there. She says watching the emotion the children expressed through their movement was an inspiration. They danced in front of us uh, a number, and it was quite incredible. Uh, it's just the, the feelings they give is really special. Um, and the children as well, they perform in front of our little group uh, that went to Africa and we were got smack. I mean, they were amazing. It's just to uh, see them dancing and afterwards they feel really happy. Anger and despair are some of the emotions expressed by Galiazzi when she performs this dance. But also, she says, dignity, hope, and the endurance of the human spirit. Sailor Hennessy for VOA News, London.